I've got my glasses on, I have calibrated my specs, and now it is time for the experience. Let's go. I feel like I'm going in a virtual drive here, and I'm picking up speed, and uh, through my specs it's telling me to turn right, and uh, weirdly, and interestingly, as I move my head around, the heads-up display still stays right in front of me. Now, there's a big difference in the experience that you're seeing with these glasses compared to things in the past. So as you have seen, for example, with Google Glass, as you mentioned, there's a small display in the corner of your field of view that you look to. We think of this experience a little differently. Instead of a look to, we think of a look through experience. Instead of having to actually look down at the display, it's actually showing me in my glasses where I'm looking. The new technical capability that makes that possible, it's the ability for us to display graphics that appear both anchored to and aligned with the physical world underneath. What advantages do you really think they offer rather than simply having the display on the windshield itself? Well, quite simply, it's the ability to have the display move with your head, which the windscreen cannot do. So functionality like x-ray vision, where I turn and look to the passenger side and see straight through the wall of the car, that's something that's not possible on the windscreen. So I'm about to park. If you look to the right again. I'm gonna look to the right, and there I am, I can see how near the car is to the curb. Are you anticipating that drivers would actually wear these? Today is absolutely a research prototype that we expect will be further refined. But we would not be engaged in this if we did not believe these technologies were converging to a point where they were viable for commercial use. I feel like I'm at the opticians right now. Yeah. The idea that people want to wear a pair of specs that they don't absolutely need to wear is an issue, isn't it? You know, I think we got a lot of really good learning from Google Glass. And I think we were able to look back at the barriers to adoption for Google Glass and able to identify that this particular application overcomes or at least significantly minimizes many of them, including battery life, challenges in interaction, privacy, and even fashion.